Now, let me point to you. <laughs> Do you will you date an uncircumcised man or a man who is circumcised? Okay, to me, I'll date someone who is circumcised. Who is circumcised? Yes. Uh, why? Because you are. She, she's a Luo. Basically, traditionally, the Luos were not circumcised, yes. and as she told us, uh, an uncircumcised man. But in this case, whereby he meets an uncircumcised man, he'll have to take the uncircumcised man to the doctor, get circumcised, and she will be very patient and wait for the man, and then yes. when to heal. Yes. Because I love him. Because I love because him. she loves him, and then afterwards she can accept him fully. Yes. That's the definition of love to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and also good night from wherever you are. This is an show in China. This is day two in the National Museums of Kenya. No, I'm used to the National Museums of Kenya. In the Kitale National Museum. The Kitale National Museum. The Kitale okay. National Museum of Kenya. And I'm here with? I'm Ivy Nekesa from Kitale Museum. Ivy Nekesa from Kitale Museum and? Viona Award from Kitale Museum. Uh, Viona Award from Kitale Museum. Yesterday we promised you guys we'll have to do another episode because yesterday I came late and then time caught up with us so we couldn't finish on the gallery. So we want to go and uh, do it afresh. In the next like one hour, 30 minutes, we will be done. So. Let's do it. And uh, these beautiful ladies are taking us across and uh, giving us information about what is found in the gallery and also the other parts of the museum. So let's do this. Oh my goodness. So this is the gallery. You can see from here the main gallery. Can we start from the dinosaur? Oh, so we start from the dinosaur here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy, come. So this is the dinosaur. The dinosaur. Okay, so like something about the dinosaur. <laughs> this one is very very shy. But she can speak. Oh, yeah, yeah. She can say something. <laughs> Alright, take I it away. Okay. <laughs> the camera is on okay. you. The information okay. I have is so little. I want that okay, little that and then she expounds. Okay, dinosaurs were found many, many years ago, mm -hmm. and these days they are no longer there. Mm -hmm. the, the dinosaurs were found when the earth was one, mm -hmm. then the earth divided itself, mm -hmm. then after dividing itself, the, the first dinosaurs were two, two categories, mm -hmm. those who ate vegetation, mm -hmm. Vegetarians uh -huh. and those who eat carnivores. Yeah, carnivores and herbivores. Okay, okay. So when the earth divided itself, uh -huh. the herbivores couldn't survive. Uh -huh. So the carnivores ate the herbivores carnivores. Uh, uh, they ate the dinosaurs. Yeah. Oh they started eating themselves. Yeah, they started eating themselves. Okay. Then the earth was not favorable for the the carnivores that remained, uh -huh. so it forced them to die. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, any other information? <laughs> Only that. Okay, so uh, let her expound on that. But uh, at least you have so much information. <laughs> you don't want to okay, share. Okay. I can expound from mm -hmm. what she had said. Mm -hmm. Okay. It happened that asteroid landed in Earth. Mm -hmm. you, you have learned. Yeah, yeah, asteroid. Yeah, yeah. Okay, when it landed. Mm -hmm it made earth to be salty mm -hmm. and water and plants mm -hmm. it's dried yeah, yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. <laughs> when it dried mm -hmm. and the dinosaurs could not exist mm -hmm. now the the herbivores mm -hmm. they died mm -hmm. the only dinosaurs that they survived were the carnivores okay. so they started eating the carcasses of the herbivores okay. for their survival mm -hmm. And later, mm -hmm. the plants grew mm -hmm. and water came back and the earth came back to its normal. Yeah, and now we st and plants started growing, mm -hmm. there was water, mm -hmm. and the dinosaur that survived was this. This one? Yeah, the one that was walking oh. with two. Mm -hmm. 
two limbs mm -hmm. and head. It's it's a hand or what? Yeah, the yeah. looks like a kangaroo. Yeah, it looks like a kangaroo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no one, no no woman mm -hmm. saw dinosaur. No woman. Yeah, no woman being. Oh, no human being. Being saw a dinosaur. Oh yeah. Because yeah. it existed six, 66 million years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the remains were just the parts that uh, yeah, they, no. the archaeologists collected and tried to decipher what this yeah, yeah. organism could be. Yeah. But okay. now we are seeing it in movies. Mm -hmm. And the replica of dinosaurs like lizards, mm -hmm. gecko, mm -hmm. crocodiles, mm -hmm. salamander. So, yeah, oh. salamander. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, so this guy, this is just a model. Yeah, it's just a model for yeah, yeah. dinosaur. We are just showing that mm -hmm. dinosaur existed million years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If they could be existing now, could they be very harmful yeah. to humans? Yes. Because they look so powerful. Yes. Yeah. And uh, there's this theory that maybe... I don't know, there's a movie. I don't know the movie. Oh, man. I know the movie about dinosaurs and the stuff. But anyway... I can't remember the name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I know that movie. Yeah, yeah. And also they say maybe could they be extinct because of some volcanic activity? Yeah, okay. it's true. It's true. Yeah. So the volcano erupted and uh, cleared them. Yeah, okay. it cleared them. Okay. So this is the model of uh, dinosaur. the dinosaur. But now they are extinct. Yeah. yeah. So just to commemorate its existence and show people how it used to be big guy let me show you a closer view Right, so we proceed to the tractors, the, tractor. the old, old tractors. No, it's a tractor. Yeah. The two. The two. Ox plow. Ox, ox plow. Ox drawn plow. It's okay, in, in, in form two, they used to say ox drawn plow. Ox, ox drawn. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, okay, I, I, I'm not so good with history, so take it away. The old, old, old tractor. Oh. Yeah. How many years could it be? More than 100 years. Which one? This one or all of all them? Of them yeah. More than 100 years? Yes. What? So this structure mm -hmm. was brought in Transoya by the white settlers. This one? Yeah. This structure. Uh -huh. It was brought by white settlers to Transoya because Transoya was fertile uh -huh. and people in Transoya had large 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 scale yeah uh, yeah for farming mm -hmm. and this tractor mm -hmm. used paraffin because mm -hmm. at that time paraffin uh, yeah paraffin was dormant mm -hmm. and these two ox plow mm -hmm. was for the slaves oh this one and this they one could drive this tractor uh -huh. while the slaves mm -hmm. That uh, the sleds could handle from and behind. Push it. Yeah, yeah. they could push uh -huh. while the Mzungu is driving. Uh, driving this. Yeah, driving the truck. Uh -huh. And the slave was supposed to go with the speed of the Mzungu. What? Yeah. So and you can the... see it's not for the animals. <laughs> you handle it from behind. Mzungu push. is basically the white guy who came to colonize yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very, very weird creatures yeah <laughs> but then some of them yeah were good because yeah, yeah. they came with different dif yeah different reasons some were researchers uh -huh. missionaries uh -huh. some were good yeah but, us, but others were very very bad yeah, and tortured very, the very africa very bad. so slavery was also here in Tanzania. yes I, I would like to know more about slavery <laughs> in Tanzania county yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Tanzania. Our, our baboos. So our maybe some of our forefathers yeah. were handling this. Yes. 
they were tortured by this, so they had to move by the speed of this. So this ox block uh -huh. could make the what is it called? The lines. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that wagon. Mm -hmm. could, yeah. We are also for planting. Okay. Could place the the seed. Mm -hmm. Then it could funica it cover it. Cover it with the yeah, soil. With the soil. But now that one, I, I came here a few years ago. Yeah. That wagon was. Uh, very preserved, but now it seems it has rotten off. It so. has rotten. Yeah, so it's the government, just pieces. The government has to do something with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because this is a very good piece of uh, information. Yes. A lot of literature. So let me show you a, a, a closer view of this. The rain has started. Yeah? We have not shown, shown them. Oh, the wagon. Okay. Let me show you the wagon one more time. The wagon. But it has rotten. This one. This is the wagon. All right. But uh, for the wagon, you can check the previous clip of yesterday. I did a proper documentation about it. So let's go to the main gallery. The main gallery. So here we go. It's raining. Raining, raining. Hey, I'm late. I, I promise I'll come in the morning. But I had other stuff to do on the farm. I see I woke up, <laughs> my boot is very, very dirty. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, let me, yeah, and then I come, okay? Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi. Popo. Okay. So we start from... Where we stopped. Where we stopped coming back. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we are inside the gallery. We are not starting from here because yesterday we covered most of this part. So we're beginning from the end going back. The end should be... Here. Uh, what do you think? Should we start from there, coming back up to here, and then we go down? Yeah, that, those pictures are all, you, you're just showing how to conserve environment. Okay, okay. Yeah. Like you can see, the scouts are cl cleaning our stream. Okay. This is the arboretum, or how do you call it? The forest here in Italy. Yeah. This, this one. Like this. The museum forest or the yeah, museum forest. Okay. So this just to emphasize on the need of planting trees, trees. watering them, conserving the streams. Yes. And uh, there the seedlings are being prepared. Yeah. It's all about conservation So if I'm a photographer and I have such of this place, I can come and mount my piece of work. Yes, you need to keep it here. Okay. Then I, I can do that in the near future, maybe. So, <laughs> so this the team in the forest, Kitale Museum Forest, will be going there in a few. It's just to show you planting trees, watering trees. And this maybe they are from a tree planting activity. And then Street family is planting trees in Kitali yes. Forest. Also, the street family, you guys are from the street. Uh, this is a good initiative by the street families. This one looks old, very old. I would like to know when this picture was taken. <laughs> anyway, maybe they could indicate here. The year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the year. Here. Yeah, because the museum it gets old. So yeah. maybe if you attach the year, it's good. Okay. documentation and then the seedlings also on this part the same reforestation rear, rear rear. these are forests maybe forests that have been cut down then they are replacing with seedlings same to this just replanting and this may be showing you forest uh, destruction, forest destruction yes. uh, ongoing road 
construction. Next construction. Next 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 oh yeah, yeah, they had to expand. So the road was expanding this Kitale yeah. as you head to the showground, as you head to town or as you head to this local. So they had to cut. They had to cut trees. Yeah, and this looked like a big tree. Yes. Yeah, it looks natural. Yes. All right. What else? Yeah. Yeah. This old man, Bukusu elder, planting a tree with, within Kitale Museum grounds. And then this. No, this one is Mr. Vincent. Oh, the museum administrator. Oh, he was planting a tree. Oh, this guy is the main administrator. Yes. Oh. He was planting tree with a pupil from. Oh. Is it Forest Road? Forest Road. Okay. <laughs> forest Road. Was it necessary for it to be in Forest Road? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. And it's same to that. And uh, what's happening yeah, here? Yeah, it's homestead. Homestead. Yeah. Traditional. Uh, will traditional we, homestead. Will we manage to go to. Yes, we will go there. Yeah, yeah. even if it rains. Yes. Okay, okay, we will show you this, but let's proceed. And uh, same to here, what's some, happening here? Some of the things that are in the forest, like the birds okay. and the monkeys. Oh, this with the weaver birds, the monkeys, this should be colobus, colobus monkey. Yeah, that one is the brother monkey. This is the brother. And then type of tree. Is this a natural forest or planted man made? Eucalyptus is man made. Okay, I'm, I'm saying this forest in the museum is this natural. It's natural? Yes. Okay, okay. So the, we'll show you that in a bit. So we're starting from the end, so going back to the start. So yesterday we stopped somewhere here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I explained here yesterday. Yeah, so assume. Uh, assume we're meeting for the first time and just take it away because we really rushed it. Yeah. Okay, here we mm -hmm. have blacksmith. Mm -hmm. And blacksmith, I, I want to explain what we have indicated there, starting from number one. Mm -hmm. Number one is the uh, Mm -hmm. Ajembe. Oh, it's number, number, one. number one is here. Oh, this one, the first traditional, traditional jembe. Mm -hmm. And it was used for weeding millet and mm -hmm. soga. Mm -hmm. And number two, number two is a stick. It was used for holding mm -hmm. hot metals. Holding hot metals. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number three mm -hmm. is called, I don't know its name, but I can read it. Blacksmith below 20th century. Yeah. I just Isn't know it was used for blowing, blowing. Oh. fire. Blowing fire mm -hmm. to when heating an iron. Yeah. Oh, oh. So they heated. Uh, okay. Uh, but it was so used by Western people, mostly the lawyers. The lawyers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So actually, these people are the first ones to discover majority yeah, of. Yeah, the lawyers. Yeah, the lawyers. Yeah, <laughs> the Western people. Okay. The okay. Especially the lawyers. Okay. And number four I is think, uh, Mitchell Bangor. Okay. I think maybe we are the first people to discover things, but yeah. we didn't but uh, you, advance yeah. them. So the wise and the other people from the Chinese, they advanced this. But yes. basically, the idea was purely Africa. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We had ideas. Okay. Yeah. So proceed. Number four is a metal bangle. Mm -hmm. It's just an ornament. Mm -hmm. It was being worn by women mostly. Mm -hmm. Number five. Is a yeah, shaping rod. Mm -hmm. It was used for shaping metals to become into a desired shape. Okay. And number six is the a head of a spear. That Same one. to number nine. The head of the spear. Yeah. Oh, it's so big. Same to number nine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And number seven is a sewing needle. Yes. Was sewing used needle. for sewing sacks. Yeah. Main sacks and yeah. mostly and the beans. Mm -hmm. Number eight mm -hmm. was used for harvesting. Have, it's a harvesting knife. Was used for harvesting sorghum and millet. Mm -hmm. Number ten is the traditional knife. Mm -hmm. Ten traditional knife. Yeah. yeah. Yes. The knife was used for cutting yeah. the meat, mm -hmm. such things. Number 11 is a slasher. Mm -hmm. Traditional slasher. Yeah, it was used for cleaning bushes mm -hmm. and homesteads, mm -hmm. the compound. And number 12 is an X. was used for chopping wood. Splitting. Yeah, for splitting. Splitting firewood. 
Okay, awesome. And then the you pottery. You don't have pottery uh -huh. for the people of Western Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And number one and number five uh -huh. was vegetable pot. Number one. It's used for cooking vegetables. Yeah. Uh -huh. Number one, we have shot them. Yeah, yeah. Then number two was a clay uh -huh. jiko. This one. Oh, it's a jiko. Yeah, it's a jiko. Oh, that's a, a very good invention. Yes. Yeah, because most of us have used that. Although, just an improved version of that. Yes. Yeah. Like the jiko Yeah. And it was used for cooking. Mm -hmm. And number four. Mm -hmm. Number four is money bank. Oh, so when people... money was first discovered. Oh, okay, okay. We had no banks, mm -hmm. so people used to start to keep their money there. So when the bank is full, you do money heist. You break it. Yes. You break the bank. Yeah. Oh, so but this one. But now we are using it for savings. This one was used traditionally for saving for money. Saving it was money. basically a bank account in the yeah. ancient times. Yes. Good invention there. I think this, this right here should be, one of the ideas of how banks started. Yes. Because a bank is just. The vault now, this one is like a traditional vault. So the idea was expanded and uh, put in a building and protect the vault and more people come. So instead of keeping the money at home, it's not safe. You come and keep in the banks. Okay, that's a good piece of information. Day number six is the vault. It yeah, was, was used for serving vegetables. Oh. Why vegetables not meat then? <laughs> yes, vegetable mm. meat. Mm. All those. Okay. It's a plate. It's, yeah, it's a plate. It's, yeah. Yeah. But traditionally, people um, eat the traditional vegetables yeah. more than the meat. More than the meat. Yeah. 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 Uh, but right now, people eat the meat Meats more, more than the vegetables. vegetables. But right now, people eat junk more than traditional <laughs> foods. <laughs> so yes. th times are changing. Yes. Uh, then people are very, very healthy. But now people are very, very weak. Weak. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Many diseases. Many diseases. If we go back in time, we could be very healthy and we could live long. But anyway, evolution of man is surprising okay. yeah. us every day. All right. Then we have basketry. Basketry, this one. Number six. Mm -hmm. One, due to evolution, mm -hmm, this one we have a plastic fruit basket mm -hmm. was used for storing for storing fruits. Oh, okay. And same to number six, number two, and number three. Number six, six number two, and number, number two, three. And number three. Yeah. So originally, uh, the idea was this, yes. and then due to modernization and evolution. We are now at this number one. Number one. Yeah. yeah, but actually at home we still have we have some like this and this and the traditional hotel. Even we used to have something like this. Yeah, I'm from somewhere. We have seen this. Yeah, they used to it. just put for decoration now. Yeah, we have it in big hotels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's what's happening here? Number seven. Number seven. Wow, quill basket. Quail. It's used to trap a bird called quail. Quail or quails? Quail, quail, quails. 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 Is it the same as quails or quails? Quail, 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 quail. Quail. Okay, okay. In our tribe, we call it chisindu. Yes, and in our tribe, we call isindu. Chi and is. That's yeah, so chi and is. Is it the same one? No, me am a bukusu. And uh, a banyori. Yeah. Oh. yeah. My mom is a monyori. Oh, yeah, very good. They make very good wine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you attest to that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's very, true. Yeah, it's very true. <laughs> very calm, collected. They take good care of the family, respectful, and they bring up children very well. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about your tribe. <laughs> tell us but about the Tell us about the Luo. The Luo. They are fine. Uh, no, responsible. No, you are you are stealing my points. Those Not are my your points. points. <laughs> you didn't say responsible. I okay, yeah. okay, okay. I, I'm okay. Take it away. It's your time. Okay, they are responsible. Mm -hmm. They they know how to look after their children. Mm -hmm. They are educative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
supportive uh, to their husbands and the children. Uh, you've not said uh, about this. But they are Kisirani. They are very proud. They have a bad ego. They have a very bad ego. Yes. Most of them. Not all. Ego we call here in Kenya Kiburi. <laughs> yeah, so I don't have anything about anything. I'm just saying how people are generally, but not all, of course. Yeah, not yeah, all. Yeah. Even in my tribe, maybe some people are, have their, a bad ego, yeah, yeah. but, okay, no, no offense, so we proceed. <laughs> but just good to share about um, these things, yeah, okay, okay. Number five is a pass for the women. Oh, this is a traditional pass, this one. What? <laughs> Imagine a lady walking with this. Yeah, now, 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 now. Now, <laughs> you could be... Analog. Very, very <laughs> people will Kenya think you are a witch. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> Where are you from? Where did you learn from? Uh, okay, okay. So, good piece of information about the basket. This one, basket. basket. Yeah. We have to... We have to... Ornaments. Yeah. Okay. These ones, ornaments. the ornaments. Are these made for from stone. fruits? Yeah. Oh, these are stone. Those are stones. Looks like so many broken stones put together. These ones are found along the lakes and the rivers. Oh, the small small yeah. pebbles. Okay, okay. Uh, these are beards. Yes. This one was made in, during the ancient times. Yeah. No, they 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 always better trade. Okay, so people could bring this and other people we could We exchange bring. our animals mm -hmm. and food. Okay, okay. Cool. I think so many things were discovered in Africa. Can you guess this one was made from? Oh, this should be, if not bamboo. It's true, bamboo tree. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like bamboo. Yeah. And here is Stoneham's collection. Oh, this is Stoneham's collection. Yeah. As I told you, yeah, yeah. Stoneham was a navy. Stoneham, yeah. Now when he had gone for more research, mm -hmm. he could collect such... Can you hold this? Yeah, continue. Hello? He could collect such yeah. collection that are found in water bodies, like in Indian Ocean, Lake Albert, like we have... Brittle stars. Lake Albert, Lake Albert is found in Uganda. Yes. And in the Ocean, we have it here in Kenya, in coastal region. Yeah. And we have labeled them. Like we have this one is star, starfish. Mm -hmm. This one is sea. Read mm -hmm. I'm not seeing it. Sea urchins. Yeah. Sea urchins. Yeah. Okay. This brittle star mm -hmm. is dangerous because it's poisonous. When it this is stuck on your leg, oh. you have to cut your leg because it's poisonous. It's in Mombasa? Yeah, it's in Mombasa. In the ocean. Brittle star. Brittle star. This one is called is poisonous? brittle star. Mm -hmm. This one is also a brittle star. They are both poisonous. This one is that one. But this one is the most dangerous. If you step on it, they catch your leg. Yes. Oh, so you, when you're going it's to Mombasa, you, you, you have to be careful. Yeah. When you, you see this brittle star, yeah. it has four legs. Mm -hmm. One has. One has. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And also, this also has the urchin spines. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? And this one? These are bones. Oh, bones? Fish fins. Fish fins from the sea. Is it from They're fossils. Fins? Fossils. Yeah. Fossils, fossils from. from... I can't see, but it's fins. Yeah. Fish fins. Yes. So fossils fish. Fossils from Kaiso. Can you read this? This one. Yeah, fossils from Kaiso. I don't know because or B C or S. I don't know what that should be on the east shores of Lake Albert. Oh, this one, Lake Albert. Okay. 
Yeah. And they have been stored in a cigarette uh, box. Is this cigarette box? Yes. Yeah, this one, this one, this, you see, 50 cigarettes. 50 cigarettes. I think during the ancient <laughs> times, those guys used to smoke a lot. So the yes. cigars, I think this is the big cigars, the bigger ones, not like the small, the, now this, the cigarettes are very small. So these are the, have you watched Peaky Blinders? Yeah. There's a big cigars. Yes. Like, uh, I think the box normally comes like this. Then you open and get the big, big cigars. So maybe this part also of our collection. Meaning, Bri meaning Colonel Stoneham was a smoker. Yeah, was a smoker. Because these are two. <laughs> and just two for some. Most of them. Yes. Most of the yeah. Most of the British. Yeah, yeah. 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 Also, most of the Chinese have smokers. Yeah, yeah. That's a true. lot of them. Yeah, they smoke a lot. When I was coming in the airport, you know, they have the lighters, so the lighters are not allowed to enter the airport. So there's this container, big container, that's full of lighters. So you could tell how many people smoke, so many of them. If you take that and go and sell, you can get maybe... That's why lighters are very cheap in China. What? Lighters. Yeah, lighters are very, are very cheap. cheap in China. Yeah, yeah, very cheap. Yeah, yeah. sometimes I buy them just to... It's yeah, to relieve my mind. No, I don't smoke. I like the lighters. I light and just to relieve my mind. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah but I don't smoke. I've never smoked. Never, never smoked. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, these are the shells. Mm -hmm. That these are also one of the seventy percent of Stoneham's collection. Mm -hmm. These are the shells that he found in Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, for those who don't know Stoneham, yeah. he's the founder. He's the founder of, of this museum. But yeah. when we get to that point, the entry, we will tell you more about it, right? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So these are just the shells, different shells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And orals. Yeah. Corals, Scomosa. We used to learn about these things, but now they are faded. Okay, but uh, they get they get the idea. So I think this is fine. We proceed. So yesterday we started from the other end, going round, but because of time, the collection was closed. Today we begin from the end, going back in time. So. Follow for more, and we'll tell you more about Stoneham in a few. So here we have young pokot ladies. Young pokot ladies. Yeah, they uh -huh. are mostly found in Kapenguria, West mm -hmm. Pokot County. Yeah. Here for, in Kenya. For those who don't know, Kapenguria, West Pokot County, they are neighbors to Kitali. Yes. On the borders of the Mount Elgon part, partly, and also Tukana. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the young pokot ladies. Mm -hmm. The Pokot mm -hmm. community used to circumcise their ladies. Mm -hmm. So they used to circumcise them when they are at their tender age. Mm -hmm. They are uh, eh, tender in 9 to 11 years. Yeah. 9 to 11 years. Mm -hmm. So the one who are not circumcised, mm -hmm. they could wear necklace number four. Necklace when number four. This one. Number four, she is not circumcised. Mm -hmm. But before that girl could get married, mm -hmm. she was supposed to be circumcised first. It's a stage. It's a stage. Makes me ask. Uh -huh. You can't. You can't get married. So we are not allowed to be together with other women. So okay. What was the instance or the main? Okay. Apart from, was it like a, 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 an initiation event? Whereby young ladies they must undergo circumcision. Yeah, to them it was like a rite of passage. It was a rite of passage. Yes. Yeah. So traditionally, it was accepted. Yes, it was accepted. Female. But now, mm -hmm. they, now some do. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but the our government, government okay. denied yeah. it because, mm -hmm. yeah, when you are circumcised, mm -hmm. when that wound, Japona. Mm -hmm. It takes time to recover. Yeah, it, okay. you know, it takes recover. time uh -huh. to recover. Uh -huh. and, need a lot. Yeah. and we, we discovered that they get diseases like fistula. Uh -huh. mm. Some of get some of them uh -huh. they they die. And also, <laughs> so you support me. Okay. It has evaporated. What I wanted to say. Tell us what you know about. The effects of HFGM. The effect, they lose a lot of blood fast. Uh -huh. Then 
some say that if you're circumcised, mm-hmm. you you're not interested to me. Yeah. You know, you, you, oh. you like your feelings. You, oh, uh, feelings. you don't have feelings. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Another one reminds me. <laughs> Okay, so guys, basically, here in Africa, a long time ago, I don't know about other parts of the world, um, the f- most of the communities around, they used to circumcise the ladies. Like, for example, in the Pokot, Pokot, yeah, yeah even the Kisis, Masai, Samburu. Yeah, yeah. So they used to circumcise. So I'm told that this necklace were number four was worn basically by ladies who have yeah, not, not been circumcised so if you are circumcised you you remove, you remove you just like the, this is to attract oh to attract, attract the attraction. circumciser yeah or like, to attract who no okay before you, before before you get married mm-hmm. you are supposed to be circumcised mm-hmm. now when a man sees you with that necklace she will he will realize that you're not, not circumcised, circumcised. Mm-hmm. so you'll be circumcised and you'll first be and you'll be married to that man oh so uh, okay for you guys like, i know this so is the difference this, this is, the... is a bit dull uh-huh. and this one like shows some happiness with the decor- decorations okay okay yeah. you know why i'm insisting because this is a very very big topic in our government right now yes. and traditionally it was accepted but right now it is illegal yes. so traditional was female circumcision a long time ago but right now it's female genital mutilation yes. it's a, actually a crime to do it right about now and so i'm just trying to understand the advantages and the disadvantages of circumcision for the ladies then advantage when you're circumcised uh-huh. your mahari will be many Men. cows Traditionally, yes, <laughs> traditionally. So they say <laughs> your ma- your mahari mahari is mahari the is bride price. Bride price. So a circumcised woman, uh, their bride price shoots is very very high. high. Very high. So many cows. Your father will be given many cows. Many cows. And be so respected. Yeah, and she will be respected. Uh-huh. Your, your father will also be respected. Mm-hmm. Your family will be happy. Mm-hmm. You are circumcised. You have the yeah the stage. So. In the event that somebody is not circumcised, then the mahari, the bride price is very low. Yes. And you cannot be married. married. And you can oh, so it was actually like that's a stage. And a, a, other ladies could avoid you because you are not yet circumcised. You are not like them. You are not like them. So they. You are being discriminated in society. So you are like an out outcast. Outside. Yeah, outside. <laughs> what? <laughs> so actually, that was how serious it was. But right about now, there has been campaigns to educate people on the negative aspect. But traditionally, they say it's good. Without that, you cannot be married. You'll be lonely. But with that, you could you'd be married and uh, have children. Yeah. And also, another advantage, you say this. Another advantage. Only that. And the disadvantages, the diseases, the disease, like yeah, fistula, like fistula. The death, bleeding, death, a lot. bleeding, bleeding death. A lot. Yes, so also, the feelings go down, so yes. you are not receptive to the man. Yes. Sexually receptive. Yeah. yeah. I'm using that word for YouTube. <laughs> to, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's so a bad experience. Okay. So, what, what's your personal thoughts about uh, FGM? FGM? Yeah. Okay. Me, I think FGM was bad. Actually, if I was a Pokot mm-hmm. lady, mm-hmm. I could run away from that village. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm-hmm. <laughs> I have, like when I'm circumcised, mm-hmm. it's painful. Mm-hmm. I bleed a lot. Mm-hmm. It's difficult to heal. Yeah, it's difficult to heal. Mm-hmm. And like you, you want to be that comfortable. Mm-hmm. They are. Well, how will I say they are underrating my sexual mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, receptiveness? Yeah, yeah sexual yeah. Yeah. receptiveness. Receptive. So you become like do- yeah. dormant. Dormant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's bad. Yeah. I want to enjoy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. How about you? What's your thought about FGM? Okay. Then and now. <laughs> then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Before mm-hmm. it was maybe. It was a right. I yeah. Can, yeah, it was a right. Mm-hmm. I can't deny that mm-hmm. because every community 
uh, their tradition. Yeah, yeah. tradition how they did their circumcision. Mm-hmm. Like for the law, we could remove the six uh, lower teeth. Even for the ladies? <laughs> no, only men. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I think. And then you the remain? Ladies, I do, yeah. Okay. There's some who don't have the teeth. <laughs> so how will you eat meat? How will you drink porridge? Porridge? Yeah. Porridge <laughs> <is> <laughs> <a term kang. laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay sorry, like, I interrupted you. I can't deny, like, Kitambo, mm-hmm. it was just nice for them. Mm-hmm. But the lady could suffer a lot. Yeah. 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 Then to now, mm-hmm. now maybe, for example, Mama Pokot lady, mm-hmm. then I've been circumcised with mm-hmm. Ivy is my friend mm-hmm. and I tell her about that. Mm-hmm. No, she will be surprised because she's not a Pokot. Yeah. So she will spread the rumors the rumor like that, so it's a bad, yeah, 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 like I'll be I'll feel like mm-hmm. I'm not wanted in the in this campaign. Oh yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Like everyone is just talking about me, mm-hmm. discriminating me and everything about my culture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I just think mm-hmm. for now mm-hmm. it should not be done. Yeah. yeah, but I like uh, I like how she put it. Traditionally, there are benefits to it, and uh, right now, right now there are no yeah. benefits. Because you could be respected. No, yeah. respect is something special. Yeah, yeah. You could yeah. be respected. Your yeah. family also could be respected. Mm-hmm. Then you could get a lot of cows. Mm-hmm. Like the man is mm-hmm. so big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only that. Oh. Yes. But actually, right now that thing should be very, she very legal. Should be stopped and. Uh, at least with the modernization, some traditions are not good, so we need to do away with them. So, say no to FGM, say no to female circumcision. Right. And here we have traditional medicine, and mm-hmm. again we have Pokot Sham and medicine. In this Pokot Sham, uh, yeah. uh, this Pokot Sham uh-huh. used to work, mm-hmm. and it's still working mm-hmm. with the Pokots. Mm-hmm. They don't know if at that rate they have their charm. Even in so- Mombasa, in yes. Mombasa, this one happens. Yes, when yeah. you have to, mm-hmm. when you want to at, to be attracted with a muzungu. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. tell us more about that. Use <laughs> <laughs> medicine. Medi- which medicine? Yeah, it's yeah, charm, but. So you go to a herbalist, mm-hmm. is it called a muganga? Mm-hmm. A ritualist. Yes. Ritualist, not a witch doctor. Uh, is it a, a witch, witchcraft, muchawi, witchcraft is muchawi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, when you go there... Muchawi mm-hmm. is... Yeah. So you want to be attracted to so that? This, is this is a ritualist. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Not a... Ritualist. Okay, this is okay, this a ritualist, not a witch. So ritually they help you get some good. Something which, good, not something bad. good, but the wish is the vice versa. They want you to get something the worst bad. or something bad. <laughs> so this charm mm-hmm. when you when you spot a a girl, mm-hmm. a lady, mm-hmm. and you have loved that girl, mm-hmm. and the girl doesn't love you back, mm-hmm. you go to a ritualist, mm-hmm. he gives you these two charms, mm-hmm. and the girl will automatically follow you. Oh. And when she comes to your home, mm-hmm. obviously you'll start dating, mm-hmm. you'll end up having kids. Mm-hmm. By the time she realizes that it was a, sh- it was a charm, mm-hmm. she would have given birth to children. What? Yeah. So that's uh, like uh, basically a trap to a man. How yeah. to trap a man? How, how to trap a lady, not, oh, not a, a man. Oh, so the term. The term was for, for t- was to. For men to men, uh, to attack the ladies. No, for ladies mm-hmm. to be attracted. No, for a man. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the okay. term was the for term the. Was for a for man, the man uh-huh. to win someone's heart. Yeah, like to, win, yeah. to so, win a lady. For example, I'm a man heart. and I want you and yeah, you don't want. And I don't want you. So I go to the ritual the list, they do their thing. Yeah. Then they tie it like our names, like something yes. here. And I'll just, I'll start following you. Okay. And I'll beg you to love me. Instead really? of you loving me, now I'll be the one begging. What? <laughs> I'll just say, I love you. <laughs> Does it really work? Yeah, it still works. Even up to now. Up to now, like Most the Pokots, mm-hmm. the Pokots use it. There's a Pokot man who came here, mm-hmm. and he told me that it's still working oh, okay, okay. in Kacheliba, mm-hmm. those places. Okay, basically Pokot is one of the sub tribes yes. of no, one of the tribes in Kenya, one of the sub tribes in the Kalenjin, according to the setup in. 
Kenyan tribes and culture. Yeah. Okay, I okay, have to emphasize because somebody might ask, what's this Pokot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they live in West Pokot County, neighbors to Transoya County, County, where we are at Kitale Museum. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, also this charm, all of this was the charm or the and other? Medicine. And medicine. Also, and medicine. And this the circumcision thing was, was it, was it was, here? Yeah, the medicine to heal the circumcised ladies was also here. Okay. Yes. Pokot charm and medicine. Dawa na hirizi. Hirizi is uh, like the, 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 how the do you call it? Breed. The west breed. Yes. Also, I but think they, also in the course they have the hi hirizi. The, when, when you are a lady and you want to keep a man, you wear the hirizi. You, no, you, 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 not, you all. not all men. <laughs> like, okay, I'm you saying. Know, the ladies in, in, in Mombasa, mm -hmm. most of them, they always want to win a mzungu. Oh, in a mzungu. The white man. Yeah. So they wear that so the, hirizi. Yeah. The hirizi is basically the waist West beard. beard. Yeah. So they get that to attract the mzungu and to keep it. and to keep the mzungu. Yeah, I don't know how, I don't know if it works or not, but anyway, let's... <laughs> have this information so that <laughs> you can discuss on the other end of this video. Okay. Uh, also, these are some of the root gems that were used for medicinal. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And here we have Shukana married women. Shukana married women. The these Shukana are neighbors of the Pokot. No. Tukana, I'm saying oh, Tukana. Oh, yeah, they yeah are Tukana borders. Tukana borders Pokot. Yes. Yeah. And Tukana married women, they used to wear colorful ornaments. Like you can see, their ornament is colorful mm -hmm. compared to the unmarried ones. Mm -hmm. And the Tukana married women mm -hmm. used to cover both parts. Like mm -hmm. we have the front apron and the back apron. Mm -hmm. but, but the unmarried ones, mm -hmm. they used to cover the front part alone, mm -hmm. they leave the back parts. And yesterday we actually had a very good <laughs> discussion about, about, nyash. about the nyash. The nyash is, uh, hey, hey, my English, <laughs> the nyash is, what, tongue twister? The nyash is like uh, me and you, nice us. So yeah. the nyash is the us. So I'm saying that so that YouTube does not censor that. But. So I think you, you, got, you can repeat that concept about these coverings and the nyash in relation to <laughs> dating okay. uh, in traditional setup. Yes. So okay. take it away. The unmarried ones, mm -hmm. like you can see here, we have two apples. This one, this one is and this one. That one mm -hmm. are for the married. Oh, both women. of these are for married women. Ma yeah, married women. But mm -hmm. the unmarried ones, mm -hmm. they used to cover the front part alone. Okay. Using a dull. A dull. A dull apron. apron. Mm -hmm. Like this one, number four. This one number four. Yeah, so this one, maybe if you are unmarried, you cover you the cover front part on. The front part alone. Why so should you, you cover the front part? So only? that you can attract the, mm, the the man, the man, the men. They mm -hmm. outside mm -hmm. when they look at your nyash, mm -hmm. they get attracted with it. Okay, so maybe explain to somebody. This is not now. Yeah. So not now, but long, now, long time ago. Long, long time ago, but now yeah. the the men also they still love nyash. They still love nyash. Yes. Nyash is me and you, nice us. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> I want to assume that you know. <laughs> Basically, it's like I got your back. So I'm trying to. Okay. So traditionally, mm -hmm. they were not wearing like this modern clothes. Yeah. Both men and women. Yes. So they were just wearing these the front, the coverings. They, they used to cover the front and the back part. Yeah. They leave the boobs. Yeah. So the bra was not invented. In, yeah. Invented the boxer, the pants were not invented. Yes. So most of the time, ladies could walk bare. Their uh, uh -huh, was not covered. <laughs> uh, and their uh -huh was also not covered. But if you are single, you only cover the front, front part. part. But yeah. if you are married, you cover both front and you cover your future and your past, if I may put it categorically. And uh, also the men, they used just to wear the traditional skin around. So basically, that was for attraction. So when a man sees the us, me and you, the nice us, when the man sees the us, he could get attracted to you, follow you, and pursue, maybe date you. 
So that was the main that how people used to get attracted. The ask could lead you into a marriage. And right about now, she'll tell you, is it the same? Okay. Nowadays, mm -hmm. every man has preferences. Yeah. Others, they love Nyash. Mm -hmm. Others, they love the personality, personality of mm -hmm. a lady. Mm -hmm. They have di different mm -hmm. reasons why they are attracted to certain lady. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what's your take? It's just the same. Like some... <laughs> mm -hmm majority mm -hmm. the youth mm -hmm. Nyash, mm -hmm. but someone who's grown and mature. wants to yeah mature and mm -hmm. want to get married mm -hmm. will find someone like maybe the behavior mm -hmm. personality mm -hmm. dressing mm -hmm. some also look the education mm -hmm. yeah yeah but basically <laughs> i don't advise a man to fall in love because of the nyash. us the nyash, the nyash. <laughs> Maybe go for the personality yes. because you can get a, a, a very be big, beautiful nyash, but the but personality is not there. Yes, she has no brain. She, and then maybe she becomes yeah. a bad influence yeah. to the kids. Yeah. So don't date. She can't help a kid to do homework <laughs> and she now, we now have CBC children. Yeah, maybe the, the nyash will not give you bright kids. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so it's actually good to relate to the person now. Yeah. Now people are attracted to the us, but on another dimension, not for marriage. Yes. Yeah. You should advise men mm -hmm. to choose wisely. Yeah, choose wisely. Yes. Don't follow the path. <laughs> choose wisely. <laughs> <laughs> so nice piece of information. Yes. And yes. you're saying about the bright colors? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This necklace number one mm -hmm. was worn during ceremonies. It shall be name it. This one, uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was it was made of plastic mm -hmm. plastic beads. Okay. Yes. Makes me to ask a question. Where were the beads found there? Yes. We had butter trade. So we used oh, to exchange. Okay. exchange. Yes. Were well, these like brought by the white men or some communities used to make the beads? Arabs. Arabs? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, Arabs are now. I, I totally did that. So, Trukana women, bright yes. beads or bright colored clothing, yes. but uh, West Pokot, dull. Yeah, the okay. young ones, especially the young ones. married when they used to wear colorful. Okay. Yes. Awesome. And necklace number two mm -hmm. was worn also by the Trukana yes. women mm -hmm. during ceremonies. Mm -hmm. We are not we are not told the particular ceremony, but it was worn okay. during ceremonies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, that that necklace was made of banana seeds, mm -hmm. beans, banana seeds. and fiber fiber steel. I've actually never seen a banana seed, so maybe this could be the banana, banana seed. seeds. I guess it's a traditional banana. Oh, traditional banana. Okay, okay. And this is made from uh, fish. Bone, fish, yeah. Yeah, bone. fish Especially the yeah. spine. Spinal yeah, spinal cord, that area, but a brave. Yeah, and this one it was, was, it was worn for, by the married women, mm -hmm. only married women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the okay. necklace number three. Okay, okay. And number six was their pass. Mm -hmm. Number four, number number four is front apron. Number five is back apron. Okay. Yes. This will cover your future, and this will cover your past. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have Silo Four. Mm -hmm. It's Stoneham collection. It used it it called uh, sing. Mm -hmm. You hear the rhythm? Yeah, yeah. Mi fa sol la ti do. Yeah, can I try? You can try. You can try. And here? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, it looks like a traditional Nigerian. <laughs> yeah, give us some beats. Yeah. Have you ever seen it in Nigerian movies? Yeah, yeah. Also the, the sound. The the yeah, yeah. 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 But it was Stonehenge Collection. Oh, okay. okay. But you have an idea. What song is that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, you just guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a little fun. Yeah. All right. And here we have circumcision and age set of the Bukusu and the Maragoli. Okay. Maragoli, their circumcision was done after eight years, mm -hmm. but the Bukusu circumcision was done after every ten years. Mm -hmm. But when there was calamity, mm -hmm. drought, or disease, it could change. Like we had corona mm -hmm. in. 
was it 2020? 20, 20, 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Mm -hmm. Now here we have not yet indicated 2020 there, okay. but we have from 2012 to 2022. Mm -hmm. These people they are called Bakana Nachitu. Mm -hmm. Baka, Bakana Nachitu. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kind of yeah, circumcision was supposed to be done in 2020, mm -hmm. but it was done last year in 2022 due to Corona. Mm -hmm. So they are called Bakana Nachito. So if I'm a man and I miss the circumcision, I'll have to wait 10 years so that I'm circumcised. Then I miss it again, I will have to be circumcised when I'm a big, big man. When I'm having a family. No, no I remember sure. yeah. when the circumcision is done at tender age, oh. about 13 years. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'm, I'm saying a scenario where you miss no. two, so the, the next time you'll have to be circumcised when you are 33. No, you can't miss that two. If you are a when true lawyer, you can't miss. You can't miss. Like, uh -huh. when there was drought, uh -huh. calamities, or uh -huh. diseases, uh -huh. like, you, you won't be circumcised uh -huh. like 2020, uh -huh. but you'll be circumcised after one year okay. or two years. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Oh, I get it. I was just thinking out loud. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you thought after the corona, you take the 10 years before? Yeah, if you or miss, no. yeah. Like, maybe mm -hmm. it's war. Mm -hmm about election mm -hmm. so if they everything i've said to them the community is mm -hmm. at peace mm -hmm. you just do it they okay. do it so they right. do it so it begs me to ask another question between male circumcision and female circumcision okay and also a male which who, who is not circumcised uh, what are the advantages of circumcision in men now yeah, like the foreskin. Mm -hmm. The foreskin will bring different diseases. Mm -hmm. Like, does it cause cancer to ladies? Okay, no, I, no. I don't have that information. <laughs> okay, yeah, they like normally say the carriers of cancer, especially maybe the I think cervical cancer or breast cancer, yeah. the carriers are male. Yeah. So maybe if you are uncircumcised, you will be the carrier <laughs> of cancer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's one. Okay. Think about so many diseases. Diseases. You can tell us more about that. Because <laughs> you are a man, you know. You know. Yeah. Okay, so basically diseases, if you are circumcised, you would, uh, uh, the probability of you spreading a disease is very, very minimal. But now traditionally, especially in the traditional African setup, the men who are circumcised are more respected by the age set groups and also by the elders. Mm -hmm. So you, for example, in our sub-tribe, during those times they used to go to war. So during the war they cannot send a, an uncircumcised man. Yeah, because they'll see maybe you have, you have a weak, you are not a warrior, you have not yet been initiated and you're not respected. So they want to send an, a circumcised man there. And also when it comes to leadership, you, they never, we, we never had the un, circumcision. Yeah, given. yeah, yeah. So it's also a symbol of uh, leadership. Okay. And also, um, m women were more attracted to somebody who is circumcised. So if you are not circumcised, you have a very hard time finding a mate. Or maybe if the lady comes to know when things get down that you are uncircumcised, she will leave you. Yeah, so for respect and for leadership, leadership and fa family and also uh, war, war, war yeah, yeah, the warrior, yeah, and also uh, the first point I say, uh, the diseases, you minimize, you minimize the spread of diseases, yeah. I don't know, so what's your check now? Let me point to you. <laughs> Do you will you date an uncircumcised man or... A man who is circumcised. Okay, to me, I'll date someone who is circumcised. Who is circumcised? Yes. Uh, why? Because you are. <laughs> she, she's a luo. Basically, traditionally, the luos were not circumcised. Yes. And as she told us before, the luos who are used to remove six, the six six teeth were removed. Yes. So, would you rather prefer a circumcised man or a man whose lower six feet have been removed? I'll prefer someone who is circumcised. Someone who is circumcised. Yes. Uh, why? But traditionally, it's not like that. To avoid the, the disease. Oh, mainly avoid. for the disease. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 
because nowadays mm-hmm. everyone is most of the, most of the people are circumcised. Yeah. So if you see Mambona leadership, mm-hmm. it it won't work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Modernly everyone can be a leader. They don't look with their circumcised or they are not circumcised. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So I just look. I'll just I'll prefer someone who's circumcised mm-hmm. because of the disease. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Me. Uh-huh. Me can't, I can't date an man. You can't date an unsuccessful man? <laughs> yes. Why? Maybe sh- he loves you okay. diligently, he respects you, he caters okay. for you and everything. As you have told us, mm-hmm. an uncircumcised man mm-hmm. can, can bring to me diseases. Mm-hmm. So why should I get diseases mm-hmm. because of love? What when, <laughs> when he loves me, mm-hmm. He has to be circumcised first. Mm-hmm. Yes. What if the man keeps uh, clean and uh, all that? Okay. He he'll just be clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He will maintain hygiene, but first we mm-hmm. have to go to the circumciser. Mm-hmm. How, how how do you call those people? Oh, <laughs> the doctors. Circumciser, so the doctor. Yeah, yes. yeah. They circumcise him. I just wait for him mm-hmm. until he heals. But I can't date and circumcise. <laughs> Oh my god, so she says Sharon, right? Ivy. Ivy, sorry, why am I confused? Sorry about that, you know, I'm getting carried away by this conversation. Okay. So Ivy says that uh, if, well, first of all, she'll never date uh, an uncircumcised man, but in this case whereby he meets an uncircumcised man, he'll have to take the uncircumcised man to the doctor, get circumcised, and she will be very patient and wait for the man to and then heal. when to heal yeah. because i love him because I love because him. she loves him and then afterwards she can accept him fully yes. that's the definition of love to you <laughs> 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 all right at least today we're having an amazing discussion because we we're yeah. not in a rush yeah, yeah. But we, have one hour. we have one hour 30 minutes closely so let's take it away i hope you guys are loving the conversation and uh, the interaction about the past and how things happen today. So let's continue. So we have musical instruments. Mm-hmm. This instrument, mm-hmm. music uh, communication was, was passed through drum, mm-hmm. horns, mm-hmm. flute, mm-hmm. and kayamba mm-hmm. was used for entertainment in ceremonies. Mm-hmm. Same to some piano number three. Mm-hmm. This one? This one. Yeah, some mm-hmm. piano number mm-hmm. three. Mm-hmm. Number four is kayamba. Was four. used in ceremonies. Yeah, kayamba. Yeah. Uh-huh. And number two mm-hmm. is called kadungu. Kadungu. Yeah. Kadungu. Was used kadungu. by the luos. Yeah. Kadungu. 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 Yes, oh, was okay. used by the luos. Mm-hmm. Should tell us about kadungu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they used the 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 luos mm-hmm. used to use kadungu mm-hmm. in ceremonies, mm-hmm. M- mostly when the warriors. Mm-hmm. They, when they had gone for a war mm-hmm. and they are back where well, mm-hmm. they used to celebrate it to use, celebrate the them using kadungu. Kadung. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And number five is uh, liar. Liar? Yeah. Liar? Liar. This one, liar like uh, the opposite of truth. Yeah. No, like oh. liar. Oh, liar, liar, liar. Liar. Yeah. Okay, liar. Different spelling. Yeah, different Same spelling. Oh, this one is a li- liar. 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 <laughs> yeah, okay. Liar mm-hmm. was used for entertainment. Mm-hmm. It was like guitar. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, the traditional guitar. Traditional guitar. Basically, Africans discovered so many things, but the world just uh, took, over. took over and made them modern. Yes. But the basic idea, the basic manuscript, the blueprint, totally African. Yeah. That's why we love Africa. Yeah, yeah, because Africa is home. Yes. Yeah, this is the origin of humanity. When somebody comes back, he, f- he will feel more at home, yes. the peace of mind. So because Africa to the world, this is where origin of mankind started, especially in East Africa, in Turkan. Yes. So welcome home to Kenya, where <laughs> humanity started. Yes. <laughs> okay. And also the trumpets, or what do you call them? Was, this was, one. 
Number eight. Seven. Number seven is a flute. Seven is a flute. Yeah. This one. Okay, okay. A flute. It was used for communication. Mm-hmm. Like Passing when you see it, if someone has blown it, you just know the an elder or the villagers want to pass information. Mm-hmm. Same to number eight. Number eight. Corn flute. Okay. Yes. And number six is fiddle. Fiddle. Yeah, it was Where's also for the lawyers. Oh, yeah. Number six. Yeah. <laughs> And produces very good sound. Yeah. This, uh, this, and the, the drum and that. Which one? This extension. All of it, the fiddle. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. all, it's all the fiddle. Okay, okay. Mm. Awesome. So. Yeah, museum yeah. We have theft. Te- te- yeah, last year. So, somebody broke in and uh, stole this. Yeah. What was here? Yeah, we, we, had, told, yeah. we were never told what was here. For real? Yeah, but uh, we were told that they stole Queen Elizabeth's sword. Sword for Queen Elizabeth. Oh. And we had different gold. Here? Yes. What? Okay. A, a long time ago, I used to come here, but I never noticed a sword. And unfortunately, I didn't take any photos, no videos. So. So we had. King, El- King Queen Elizabeth. King, Queen Elizabeth, not King. Queen Her sword was here. Queen Elizabeth for, yeah. Uh-huh. Queen Elizabeth. I've seen movies whereby they break into a museum and steal something very, very precious. Yeah. So maybe the movie is happening in yeah, reality. It's happening, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it happened here in Kitale. Here in Kitale? Yes, and they also stole one trunk for the elephant. Down we there? Had two, uh-huh. they have one. One was stolen. So they broke in, they stole the sword, some gold were here yes. from Queen Elizabeth and the trunk. Yes, and the trunk. And many things we were not told. And others. many, uh, I think many those were very precious because if you are told the value of size, maybe if you take Queen Elizabeth's sword to the world market and sell it, yes. it will go for billions of dollars. Yes. The golds, now that, how the trunk, how will they transport it? They just break the particles. But how is the security of this place? No we CCTV. We don't have CCTV here, but no CCTV. Uh, we, we 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 are supposed to mm-hmm. place CCTV here. What? So there was a haste. Yeah. Not money haste. <laughs> artifacts haste. Yeah, artifacts yeah. haste. Hey, and I'm sure yeah, that, yeah. that that person walked away with a lot of money, and that yeah. person should have known about it, the value. And uh, I'm I'm wondering how do they enter? Because this we don't know we don't know much about what happened here. How mm-hmm. they entered? How mm-hmm. they stole? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were what? just told that they stole there. What? Anyway, real money haste, real artifact haste. <laughs> we see them in movies, but it's just here. It's real. I never thought it could be in my local hometown, in my local museum. Oh, it happens. But the Nairobi one is well protected. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I didn't know that. Yesterday we were in a hurry. We actually missed that point. So that, that's why I, I, I wanted we do it again so we get the information. All right. And here we have ceremonials. Ceremonials. Will you tell us more about ceremonials? Okay. We'll start with the number one mm-hmm. is a pot. Mm-hmm. This pot was mm-hmm. for the. Why is it not showing? Uh, it says it's overheating. Ah, so, okay. yeah, yeah. So it goes there. But if you tap, you said device overheating screen will be disabled in three seconds. Because I'm shooting in high quality 1080p and uh, 60 RS. So, but it's okay. We'll manage. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Beer pots. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. In, 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 in Kenya, we call it beer busa. Yeah, busa. So this one was used to, for mostly like ceremonies. Yeah. The busa was not just being drunk. Mm-hmm. Like nowadays, people take alcohol everywhere, like mm-hmm. anytime, mm-hmm. only in ceremonies. Oh, so long time ago, she says beer was taken only during ceremonies. Yes. Not like today. And only the men. Only the men. Men used and to, the elders. Men and elders. Only the men and elders used to take beer or alcohol. 
but not the women. We and will children. talk about that and children. <laughs> this is the jingle used for entertainment. Mm -hmm. We'll be telling yeah, the uncle. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. used for entertainment. Mm -hmm. Also, this one was used for entertainment. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then number four, mm -hmm. knife circumcision. Oh, this is the circumcision knife. It's the one that steals so many joy. <laughs> Traditionally, okay. And this, mm -hmm. this number three mm -hmm. was only used by the elders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, yeah, Raila loves this so much. Yes, it was yeah. for leadership. For leadership. leadership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Then this one mm -hmm. was used to pass information. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. used to pass information, mm -hmm. or maybe to announce some some of the ceremonies. Okay. Yes. Uh, so then, like there was no internet, there was no phones. Yeah, they, so there was nothing. Depending on the rhythm that was being blown, people could know what like events. different different horn. Mm -hmm was used to pass different Messages. information. Okay, okay. Yeah, different information, mm -hmm. different message. Okay, okay. Yes. Right. Then this number six mm -hmm. was was a belt this worn one. by the women. Number five. Number five, yes, yeah. This one. Number five. Mm -hmm. This is a belt mm -hmm. worn by only women. Mm -hmm. And uh, two types of women. Mm -hmm. One, if your child mm -hmm. went to the war, mm -hmm. you could wear, wear this to show protection like to protect your child during the war. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> then, mm -hmm. when uh, a woman mm -hmm. gave birth, mm -hmm. she would wear this to reduce the size of the stomach. Stomach. Yes. And yeah. it will also protect the mother and the child from bad women. Oh, this one. This was, it, was, was it made by the ritualist or was no. it... It's a cow Oh, cow yeah. As in the ritualist, the woman or the person who has the charm or can she provide or how how or do maybe they maybe like you could make it yourself uh -huh. then you take for the rituals or the rituals to oh to bless, bless it, it. Yeah. okay 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 yes. all right all then right. the number six mm -hmm. is a chair, mm -hmm. it's, oh. a chair. it's a four-legged stool oh four-legged stool yeah yeah four-legged stool only the the elders mm -hmm. will sit on it okay okay same to number eight the mm -hmm. hat the that's hat. a hat yeah yeah only the elders mm -hmm. could wear it okay, okay yeah then this number seven is a pass a pass worn by only women old women only only women, women. oh yeah, yeah maybe the ladies yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen women. different types of passes the one from the one that was sewed, the, this, this one, one made from the skin made from the skin yeah. uh -huh. and this one is a Black and white color man. Skin is a skin. Yeah, yeah. For yeah, and black this and white. skin, mm -hmm. only the elders mm -hmm. could have it yeah. in their houses. Okay. The elders, the mm -hmm. like the superior ones. Okay, okay. Yeah, the yeah. superior ones. Yeah. Okay. I can add it number Even nine. me, I wanted to add <laughs> this one. <laughs> okay, but you go ahead. Okay, on. it was worn by mm -hmm. warriors mm -hmm. when they were going to war, mm -hmm. and also it was worn by elders mm -hmm. as a dancing attire. Oh, this one was also a dancing attire, attire oh, okay, for the okay. elders. Mm -hmm. And addition in for number six, mm -hmm. the four legged stool. Mm -hmm. The elders were the only people who could sit on it, mm -hmm. and they sat on it during the naming of the children. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Awesome. My and addition. addition number nine. Oh, so number nine. Uh, I just want to add something. Okay, they have done a good job uh, telling us uh, the, how it was used, and uh, whom used to wear it. So, I was told by someone at the National Museums of Kenya Mammalogy Department that um, traditionally this one the skin was not uh, taken from a young animal mm -hmm. or a young monkey you said this is which monkey black and white, black and white colobus so and actually the black and white colobus is a very rare species so during ancient times they used to conserve and protect this animal by Killing the old one, so they only kill the old one to get the skin, oh. and not the yeah. young one. Yeah, yeah. As you know, also in the Maasai community, maybe during the time when a man wants to marry, he has that initiation whereby he wants he should go and uh, kill a, a lion. So most of the times, they were not the young lion that was killed, but the old lion. That's why you see most of the times, the warriors. Could kill the lion and the lion could not kill them. 
because they go for the lonely and the old lion. Because if you fight an old lion, you'll defeat it. Yeah, so that way they help conserve the environment. Other than going for the young one, they go for the old. Yeah, so I just, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to emphasize. Thank and also, for the information. <laughs> yesterday I asked you guys what you think about traditionally only men were drinking during uh, ceremonies, but right now we women know. are drinking more than the men. Yeah. So, what's your take on that again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, me again, it's peer pressure. Peer pressure, yeah, mm -hmm. like it's peer pressure, mm -hmm. like ladies are seeing mm -hmm. men drinking like we have different perception mm -hmm. perception mm -hmm. to why women drink mm -hmm. alcohol mm -hmm. like others they want to stress relieve to relieve, stress. To relieve, yeah, mm -hmm. to relieve mm -hmm. stress mm -hmm. heart breaks mm -hmm. <laughs> when you are heartbroken mm -hmm. <laughs> someone may think that when you drink alcohol mm -hmm. will solve your problems yeah. but i don't think if it's true <laughs> <laughs> So is it is women is uh, drinking good for women? No, actually, okay. Nowadays, mm -hmm. you may go to party with men. Mm -hmm. They buy for you drinks. Mm -hmm. You drink, but when they want to marry, they won't marry a mm -hmm. drunk woman. Why? Okay, okay. she will not take care of the family. Mm -hmm. she Too drunk not, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too drunk people. Mm -hmm. we, we, that will not be okay mm -hmm. for that family. Mm -hmm. Okay. A man will, will will not marry a drunk woman mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we know you know when a lady is drunk, mm -hmm. she she might do nasty things. Nasty things. They make bad decisions. Yeah, bad decisions. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So she, the man will remember mm -hmm. when she was drinking with that girl mm -hmm. when they were at their teenage, mm -hmm. their youthful age, yeah, yeah. and the woman was was. How will I was misbehaving, mm -hmm. and now he remembers that she has he has that woman mm -hmm. in his compound, mm -hmm. his house, mm -hmm. and now that the woman is outside there drinking, mm -hmm. she has come back, mm -hmm. she's drunk. Mm -hmm. Okay, he will just remember mm -hmm. when I was digging with this lady. Mm -hmm. She used to be nasty. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he could remove clothes, mm -hmm. do nasty things. Mm -hmm. Now she will he will remember this is now my wife. Okay. <laughs> how, how, <laughs> how 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 about that how, now he will be his friends will be telling him mm -hmm. I saw your wife. Mm -hmm. She was naked at the club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. a bad picture. Yeah. I will not do that. Yeah. yeah. May I advise ladies should stop drinking. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Okay, I'll just say due to the evolution. Uh -huh. Yeah, like women are bragging what mm. a man can do. A woman, a woman can, can do better. better. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. they, the mentality of doing better, mm -hmm. drinking more than the men. Okay. Like most of the ladies mm -hmm. nowadays, they party a lot mm -hmm. more than the men. In the club, so many women. Yeah. Like someone, I had a friend, mm -hmm. and she said like, many is a party. Mm -hmm. Like she can't stop partying. Mm -hmm. If she gives birth, mm -hmm. she will go with the child to the club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Then, like she said, like uh -huh. I'm praying for a wealthy, wealthy man. The first <laughs> thing I'll do is to buy a car. So if I'm partying inside the club, mm -hmm. my son or my daughter is outside, and she will, he or she will be safe. Is that a good example of mother? No, like it's just bad thing. What? Then mm -hmm. most of the women mm -hmm. like. Men are. Men are. Men love foolishly. Yeah, they love foolishly. Like, yeah. if she loves, if a man loves you, mm -hmm. then like, women be mm -hmm. They overpower a man. Mm -hmm. If they find out that this man mm -hmm. is really into me, mm -hmm. they overpower, like they just take control of the house. Mm -hmm. She does everything, mm -hmm. anytime, mm -hmm. anywhere, like mm -hmm. at her pleasure. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, Mimi, mm -hmm. they. You're against Yeah, I'm against it. Okay. 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 okay, parting is not bad. Mm -hmm. Parting is not parting bad. Parting is not bad. Like, mm -hmm. to party, it's okay, but mm -hmm. drinking. Mm -hmm. Drinking too much, like you can take one. Uh, 
me 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 don't advise drinking but okay. if mm-hmm. a lady wants to drink you drink but when you get married mm-hmm. you have I'm just stop it don't drink you, you too much be addicted mm-hmm. but you know men are interested in knowing the ladies past yeah. so that they may know which type of lady they are you mm-hmm. will you accept a drunkard lady uh, maybe i'll have fun but i'll not accept yes, her. have told you okay yeah. but yeah. also when party, you can change yeah. someone yeah. okay i can't change a drunkard so i'm not your parents your parents should friend. have brought you I'm better so mm-hmm. i went to a certain wedding and we went for an extension party mm-hmm. in eldoret so this this boy I had a friend who was a drunkard. <laughs> was a drunkard, a lady. Mm-hmm. And now this girl drank and got horny. Mm-hmm. So this 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 guy came and told me, mm-hmm. you have to advise your friend. Mm-hmm. You know, when the, when she's horny, mm-hmm. me I'll just ask her, her what, yeah, she wants. what she was. Mm-hmm. And after all, I'll never marry a drunkard lady. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the man is also mm-hmm. <laughs> a drunkard. <laughs> Okay, I felt yeah. bad because yeah, yeah, actually yeah. Mm-hmm. he used the the lady, mm-hmm. but later mm-hmm. they are dating mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. But he told me, mm-hmm. yes, I'm dating her, but I won't marry her. Yeah, yeah. So it's because <laughs> the rules of the jungle are very harsh for women. <laughs> it might look interesting, but at the end of the day, when it narrows down, okay. nature is against. Sure. But if you love someone, you should change someone. Uh, if you are a true parent, you should bring your children <laughs> properly so that they are well informed okay. and uh, they don't a bad make. Person. Yeah. No, I'm not a bad person. No, no. I'm sharing my honest mm-hmm. opinion because. So if... you can't change a lady. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't change a lady. <laughs> That's the work of parents. They need to. But I believe if uh, a woman is brought up in a complete family mm-hmm. with values responsibilities mentorship she will be a better woman yeah, and uh, sure. if the discipline is appealed in that family it, the woman will be a good wife in the near future but if these factors are not met this woman might end up the other flip of the coin so i don't want to comment much anyway <laughs> let's continue <laughs> but also it's actually a nice discussion yeah. yeah, nice discussion. Yeah. And here is food preparation mm-hmm. for some of the pieces of Western King. Mm-hmm. Number one Number was one. a steer stick was used for steering porridge mm-hmm. and also the Kalenjins used it for steering milk mm-hmm. when they want to Yeah. Yeah, the, for mixing milk and blood mm-hmm. and while cooking ugali. Mm-hmm. They could first use it first mm-hmm. when it's soft oh, can I say it? when it, it's oh, so help me explain it the challenges so na tumia kuto gali ya kwani when it, when it, the bubble okay. oh to soften you but yeah to soften yeah and number 2 it's a gully pot mm-hmm. and also was used for cooking mm-hmm. porridge there mm-hmm. and number three is a metallic sophoria mm-hmm. due to evolution now we are showing metallic sophoria because we are now using metallic sophoria to cook mm-hmm. and number four mm-hmm. is ugali basket mm-hmm. in traditional mm-hmm. when ugali was cooked mm-hmm. we used to serve it in gully basket mm-hmm. number five is is it a bowl? Yeah, bowl. yeah, wooden bowl. Wooden was bowl. for yeah. mixing mm-hmm. blood and milk. Mm-hmm. And number six is a calabash mm-hmm. for calabash. drinking water and porridge. Mm-hmm. Number seven is a clay bowl. Mm-hmm. Was used for serving vegetable mm-hmm. and also meat. Oh, yes. Number eight mm-hmm. is a guard for storing ghee. Oh, God. You know ghee. Ghee, yeah, you told me yesterday. Yes. Ghee is actually the cream de la cream. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a sit and store in the gut. Yeah. Yeah. And number nine is a gut for storing saw milk mursik. Yeah, saw so milk. Yes. Saw so milk is mursik. And in number Canadian. ten yeah. is a gut for storing water mm-hmm. for the warriors when they were going to war. Yeah. They used to carry their mm-hmm. their water. In Game of Thrones, 
I've seen this in games of yeah, Thrones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And also other movies, traditional, traditional. Movie, warrior movies. All right. And here mm-hmm. is agriculture. agriculture. This is the day I told you. Uh-huh. Maize was first discovered by a Portuguese. Portuguese. Huh? Portuguese. Who was oh, oh, the person oh, sorry. who discovered maize? The person who discovered maize was so, uh, Mexican. Mexican. But maize was first grown in Portugal. Portugal. Yeah, yeah, I'm a ah, good student. Yeah. Okay, you, oh, you okay, me, I know. Uh-uh. Yeah, you say what you know. Sorry. I know that the maize was discovered in Mexico. No, the person who discovered maize was a Mexican, but maize was first planted in Portugal. So. Okay. Okay. And this how okay people know maize, yeah. <laughs> yeah they know maize. And then the, the first maize that was brought to Kenya, uh-huh. like Africa, mm-hmm. was that the yellow maize. Yeah, the yellow maize. For the cows, so I normally hear so many things. <laughs> okay, what I know is that the first one to be brought to Kenya before the before the white one mm-hmm. was that yellow one. Okay, okay. But mm-hmm. and people could eat it mm-hmm. and plant it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but. For the Europeans, mm-hmm. the yellow one was for the cows. Okay. Yeah. yeah. In China, they plant a lot of maize, but they don't cook fufu or ugali. They use it to make a special kind of cake. I've never tested it. Yeah, because in the market, this. Yeah. Indomie, chale, chale. Yeah, but actually in China, I cook ugali, but it's not sweet. I feel like like it, the, it's in snake. Snake. Um, I'm I'm supposed to eat a frog very very soon, but I actually ate a donkey. And very very sweet, very very sweet. Maybe I'll share with you a link on my YouTube channel. Let me show you. Uh, just a minute. Uh, the donkey was so. Sweet. I'm premiering a video about the. Chinese donkey restaurant in China. So, uh, let me go you. So, this is the video. Where is it? This is my neighbor keeps next to the batch. Don't worry about that. So, first time. This big one. No, that's just a, a thumbnail. First time meeting a donkey in China. It has so many health benefits, which will be premiering soon. So one benefit of eating a donkey, <laughs> I make a Twitter. <laughs> but maybe, anyway. maybe you cook it and don't tell me it's a donkey. I'll eat. Don't tell me. Yeah, but in China, I'm doing several challenges. I'll end up eating a snake very soon. But frog, I must eat a frog. Very soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must eat a frog. We went to a certain wedding, also the wedding with Premier. One of the food that was served was frogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll do a documentary about the frog restaurant. Okay. Number one, it's mortar and pistol. Mm-hmm. Was used for, for purifying grains mm-hmm. such as millet and sorghum. Mm-hmm. Number two was a wooden vessel, uh-huh. was used for holding grains such as sorghum and millet. Uh-huh. Number three is a grinding stone, uh-huh. was used for grinding uh-huh. that sorghum uh-huh. or maize uh-huh. when it becomes flour. Uh-huh. Number four is a basket, uh-huh. flour basket. Uh-huh. basket. Yeah, flour was stored in uh-huh. that basket, flour okay. basket. And this just to show you the maize. maize. So let's finish the first episode from this place so once again this is an auto in china and this is viona world in kitale museum and this is, this is ivy nekesa from kitale museum uh, so we're going to start another episode from down there and then we come finish from this place so be sure to watch till the end this is an auto in china